we have another um, treatment device, actually, rather than diagnostic, which is also, again, my apologies, in the process of FDA approval. And this one is very much like a reverse engineered MRI. Now, we've all heard of magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, where you can screen and screen and you can find a very tiny tumor way down the brain. And until that machine was invented, some of those tumors could not be found. They're so small, but the MRI can find them. Well, very recently, and perhaps within the last two years, right there in the news, it was reported that Harvard, and remember, if it's Harvard, it has to be true, right, had found that some people who had MRI scans were reporting they were less depressed. So Harvard has now launched a study to see if magnetic energy can help with depression. Okay, but in 1990, long time ago, uh, a doctor, Dean Bonley from Canada, had that idea, and he reversed engineered an MRI machine so that it would put out a high strength magnetic field. That's a safe magnetic field, but it's a lot higher than the usual strength. And what this is used for is, presently, it's under investigation for orthopedic, bone and joint, uh, for cardiovascular, such as heart failure, and for neurologic. Uh, what's found is that some cases of Parkinson's disease, if those folks have their heads in the magnetic field for usually 100 to 200 hours, not in a row, of course, uh, each day so many hours, that their Parkinson's disease can get a lot better and their symptoms are better. Uh, it's used for MS. It's used for people who have had severe head trauma and, oh, things just aren't working right. And sometimes two or three hundred hours, a little bit at a time, and vision gets better and hearing gets better after a really bad whack to the head. Um, we've seen an MRI picture, which is the diagnostic technique, of someone with a disc that slipped way out and 150 to 200 hours under the treatment magnet device. And they do another MRI, and look at that. The disc is right back where it came from. And the person's no longer flat in their back and not able to do anything, and being told that, oh, all you can do is surgery. Instead, they've had the magnet treatment. Uh, there's seven of these units around the country right now. Uh, a doctor in Toledo is a cardiovascular specialist and he finds it's very good for people with congestive heart failure. They get a lot better if they have the magnet applied over the heart. Again, 100, 200, 300 hours. And some people with atrial fibrillation have had their fibrillation straightened out with the high strength magnet. Um, one of the best places is for bone and joint problems. People who've had nerve injuries that just didn't get better and kept hurting and hurting and hurting seven or eight years later with the magnetic field applied have had 80, 90 percent reduction in their pain. Um, people with arthritis in the hip with the magnetic field, one woman came in with a cane and when she left she showed us she could run down the hall. Yeah, and that was the only intervention. Now, I never ever want to give the impression that this gadget can cure everything. We tabulated our first 31 cases, and of those 31, there were six where it just didn't make any difference. There were 16, just slightly over half, where there was a very significant improvement, and that left us eight where there was some improvement, but not as much as we were hoping for. So again, it does some very remarkable things, but it doesn't work every time. Um, this gadget goes by initials, too. Instead of MRI, it's called MME for Magnetic Molecular Energizer. It's thought to work by speeding up the actions of all the electrons around the nucleus and getting the molecular exchange to work better. So that's another division here at the clinic.